हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जस्ट मी लॉग इन योर क्रेडेंशियल्स एंड वंस डन विद दैट जस्ट मी कम बैक ओवर हियर स्क्रॉल डाउन नाउ हियर यू कैन सी डोमेन जस्ट मी क्लिक ऑन दिस वेरीफाई डोमेन ओवर हियर नाउ जस्ट मी वेट नाउ क्लिक ऑन दिस नेक्स्ट and then click on this verify now just me come back to the lab instructions and click on the task number 1 now here what we do we have to just simply update the organization you name so just simply copy this name carefully and make sure that you do not copy any extra space while copying the name so just simply copy like this come back over here wait for a second now now just simply wait over here and is done now click on this hamburger over here now here you can see account just simply click over here and from here just simply click on this account settings over here now just simply wait Now here you can see profile. Just me click on this down arrow, and from here just me click on this name. Just me click on this pencil icon, and just me replace the name with this, and then click on this save. Now if we just me come back to the lab instructions, and from here you can see new products are not automatically roll out for the users. So what you do? Just me come back over here, click on this up arrow, and now here you can see preferences. Just me click over here. and here you can see new product so just just me click over here and from here just me turn off this when it release and then click on the save so we had done with the task number 1 now if we just me come back over here and click on the check my progress for task number 1 you will get a score without any issue now for the task number 2 what you do we have to just me create a group so basically just me copy this name carefully copy like this come back over here click on this hamburger and then click on this directory over here now here you can see group just me click over here now click on this create group over here now just simply paste the name over here like this way and now if we just simply paste the name for the group email just simply wait and if i just simply click over here as you can see i am getting this email so i was like, what do you do just simply replace this extra space over here like this way now if i just simply click over here as you can see it's accepted now just simply scroll down and then click on this next Now here what you do first of all just simply click on this announcement only like this way and now just simply uncheck this both check box for entire organization like this way now just simply scroll down now here you can see who can join this group only invited user make sure that you have to make this three changes announcement only entire organization uncheck all the check box and then just simply choose only in invited user and then click on this next now again just simply scroll down and then click on this create group now just simply wait And it's done. Now just me click on this done. Now if you just me come back over here and click on the check my progress for the task number two, you will get a score without any issue. Just me wait and watch. Now for the task number three, what you do? First of all, we have to create a building. So for that, what you do? Just me come back over here. Now here you can see building and resources. So just me click over here and then click on this manage resources over here. Now just me click on this add building and then click on this add buildings over here. Now for the name, come back over here and from here just me copy this name. Come back over here and just me paste over here. Now for the floor, just me type capital G and then click on this add building because it's mentioned on the lab instruction page. Now what here do? Just me click on this down arrow and from here just me choose a resource over here. Now just me wait. Now just me click on this plus icon. Now make sure that the category must be meeting space and the building name must be head office and floor must be G. Okay, if we just me come back over here and scroll down, as you can see, it mentioned over here because of that. Now for the resource name, just me copy this name carefully. So just me copy like this way. Come back over here and just me paste the name over here as a resource name. Now for the capacity, just me type twelve because it's mentioned on the lab instructions page. Now come back over here and click on this add resource, and it's done. Now just me click on this manage resource feature. Just me click over here and then click on this add feature over here. Now for that, just me come back over here and from here just me copy this name for the your feature. So just me copy like this whiteboard and just me paste the name over here. And the feature type must be others. And now click on this save. Wait for a second. And it's created over here and then click on this close. Now just me click on this name. Now here you can see features. Just me click on this down arrow over here. Now just click over here, and then you are able to get to your feature whiteboard, and then click on the save. Now just simply wait, and it's done. Now if you just me come back over here and click on check my progress for task number three, you will get a score without any issue. Just simply wait and watch. As you can see, we got a score. Now for the task number four, what you do? First of all, we have to create an organizational unit, and after that, we have to create two users in that unit. So basically, what you do? First of all, just simply copy this name carefully. Copy like this. Come back over here and click on this directory over here, and then click on this organizational unit over here. Now click on this create. Now just simply paste the name and then click on this create. So we are done with 
the first point now what you do we have to create a two users so for that what you do just let me come back over here and click on this users over here now just simply wait and then click on this add new user now for the first username just let me copy this first name come back over here and paste now copy the last name jim come back over here paste like this way now as i said we have to create inside the operating unit which we just created in the organizational unit as you can see if i just click over here and if i just click over here as you can see operating unit just simply click over here and then click on this done make sure your page must look like this if you so then click on this add new user now just simply wait and it's done now again click on this add another user now for the second username just me copy this name come back over here and just paste over here now for the last name just me copy this name come back over here and as you can see last name just me paste over here now again click on this name and then click on this pencil icon and from here just me choose the operating unit like this way and then click on this done make sure your page must look like this and then click on this add new users over here now just simply wait and now click on this done now if we just me come back to the lab instructions and from this point you can see only the operating units user can access the google vault for that what you do just let me copy this name carefully copy like this come back over here and first of all just let me click on this done now just let me click over here and just let me search for the google vault over here now click on this so as you can see this service is on for everyone so just let me click over here and then click on this turn off and from here you can see all of our organizational unit for them is off now just me click on the save and it's done now what you do just me click on this operating unit over here from here you can just me cross verify where you are and from here just for the operating unit it must be on just make sure of that and then click on this override and then click on this turn on over here and as you can see it's done now if you just may come back over here and click on the check my progress for the task number four you will get a score on the task number four without any issue just simply wait and watch as you can see we got a score now task number five is very easy so basically what you do just let me come back over here click on your avatar over here and then click on this manage over here now here you have to just simply use your personal email id so for that what do you do just me click on the security over here scroll down and here you can see recovery email just me click over here now here just simply paste your personal email id for that just simply copy your personal email id like this way copy like this come back over here and just simply paste over here and then click on this next like this way now here you will get one verification code over here so just simply paste that verification code over here let me just do that now just simply click on this verify and it's done now if we just may come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for the task number five you will get a score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this challenge lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys